Okay, uh, we are ready to do calculations of weak bases in a case of ammonia. You should know ammonia definitely for sake of IV. One of the weak bases that you should memorize is ammonia. Uh, it's going to dissociate partially and it will give you ammonium NH4 plus and hydroxide. And the hydroxide is the species that we want to know what's their concentration. So then again, this is equilibrium. We do ice calculation. Initially, you have 0 0.10, and you have none of ammonium, none of hydroxide. Once there is a change, you lose a minute amount of ammonia, X mole, and you produce the same amount on the product side, X of ammonium and X mole of hydroxide. Equilibrium has been established, so it's 0 0.10 minus x, and you have x quantities on the right-hand side. Once you find this x, you can take negative log of this, and you find POH and subtract from 14. So we go after equilibrium constant, k, but this time we don't write a, it's rather kb, because it's base dissociation. Then again, in IB, they give us pkb rather than kb, so we know it's 10 raised to power of minus pkb so it's 10 to minus 4.74 and it happens to be 1.78 times 10 to minus 5 so that's kb and it's equal to products which is x times x x squared divided by the reactant which is 0.1 minus x then again, we don't want you to solve it uh, quadratically, so we write our assumption. Uh, since Kb is much smaller than 1, which it is, it's magnitude of 10 minus uh, 5, then you can say 0 0.10 take away x is really equal to 0 0.10. With that, uh, the solution gets easier, so 1.78 times 10 to minus 5 is equal to x squared divided by 0.1. Now let's just find x. And remember, x is our concentration of hydroxide. And it's square root of denominator times the number. So it's 1.78 times 10. 0.1 times that is 10 minus 6. And when you take the square root of this quantity, you will get 0.00133. Now take its log, but remember it's OH, therefore you're finding POH at this stage. It's negative log of hydroxide concentration, negative log of 0 0.00133, and it's 2.87. Now pH plus POH is 14, so your pH is 14, take away that number, 11.12 which is much smaller than 14, therefore it's a weak base, another proof. So this is ammonia. The next slide, I'm going after a related family. Anything amine is a weak base. I write the equation, and maybe you pause the video and try to solve it, and then we compare notes. So methylamine is also given in your data booklet. It's CH3NH2. One of the hydrogens of uh, ammonia was substituted by a methyl. When you add it to water, there is equilibrium. All ammonia and amines are weak, partial dissociation. Uh, it's a base, so it's going to accept a proton from the acid. So H2O is behaving like an acid. And your methylamine is your base. You will have CH3, NH3 with positive charge plus OH minus aqueous aqueous now this time this is your conjugate acid and OH minus is your conjugate base I want to know how much hydroxide I have then I take its negative log we have POH so let's start with initial we have 0 0.05 0 0 there is a change x mole is being lost on the reactant x moles are coming to life on the product side Equilibrium established, 0.05 take away x, x, and x. Then we go after equilibrium constant, since it's a base kb, and it's 10 raised to negative pkb 
10 to negative 3.35, which is 4.37 times 10 to minus 4, is equal to x times x, which is x squared divided by 0.05 take away x. Then again, write your assumption. I wrote it for you, this is the fourth time, by now hopefully it's second nature that kb is much smaller than 1. That means 0.05 take away x is really equal to 0.05. And if you solve x and it's uh, not reasonable, then solve it quadratically. But until then, try to use assumption. So 4.37 times 10 to minus 4 becomes x squared over 0.05. Now let's solve for x, which is concentration of hydroxide. Its square root of these two quantities, 0.05 multiplied by 4.37 times 10 to minus 4. Many of you students make mistakes by forgetting about the square root. So concentration of hydroxide becomes 0.00467 mole per decimeter cube. Take its negative log and that's your POH, which is 2.33. Subtract from 14 and that's your pH, which is 11.67.